Good afternoon, traders, and welcome to AwesomeCallsTrading.com. I want to welcome you to our great chat room today. Uh, at, at the time is now about 11.29. I'm on the West Coast in uh, California, and I uh, just want to say hello to you. I want to welcome everyone to a Happy New Year. It is uh, January 1st, two, actually January 2nd, 2019. I have been scalp trading uh, quite a bit today. Um, my trades today were uh, Netgear, uh, TDD, um, Netflix, Tesla, and uh, of course Myrna, um, and uh, I think there was one more that I and Boeing. I play a lot of Boeing when the when the market fluctuates. I've done about uh, I think about twenty two trades. I've for today I probably lost on three of them because maybe lack of patience. Uh, like I took a Tesla trade, and um, I was scalping it, and then one time I scalped it, and I lost thirty cents on it. I'm playing usually three hundred shares at a time. Boeing, I love to play three hundred fifty to four hundred shares at a time. Uh, sometimes, uh, so I think Tesla, I am two good, one bad, so two for three on that one. And I think one Boeing got me. I've done five trades on Boeing. I think one snapped me about probably forty cents on four hundred shares. But the rest, I, I made my money on that. Also, Netgear was good, too, and I'll show you the, um Today's trades uh, that we selected were Prawn, Roku, uh, Netgear, Rare, Square, TDD, Shop, Netflix, Boeing, Tesla, Blue, NVIDIA, and Marna. Um, today, um, the Dow was down 400 points before we even started. And I felt that a lot of these, the market was gapping down. So you had NVIDIA, Shop, Tesla, Boeing, Netflix, TDD, they were Square, Roku. I love these names in trading stocks. Uh, I love the pullbacks because they give us such range. And that's what a lot of, um, when you're trading stocks, traders, it's important that you have range in your trades. Uh, matter of fact, I think I might take this Tesla again. Right in front of you, it's moving, and spy just popped huge. So you see this, and I like this Tesla right here. So let me see if I can get in there and get some of that. Um, uh, we've been playing Tesla since the morning, and I'll show you the call. But I, I definitely want to get set up here in case I see spy really. Uh, we're going to do 350 shares on Tesla, and I want to watch it. I always do a market order. And uh, I want to be prepared because if I see spy in the corner of my eye starting to fly um, and like make a push like this, I, this is where I, I usually love to trade Boeing. Like I will get into Boeing. I'll get a pop. You see this pop here? I want to show you again. You see? Once this pops here to 251 on the spy, 251.10, you'll get about 40 cent pop on Boeing. Matter of fact, Boeing's going to move. Hold on. The Dow is turning green. Now watch the pop. Hold on. Boeing. Market order. And Boeing. Paul, Boeing follows spike to almost identical on the patterns. So I think we we've done this before. I'm gonna see if I get 251 on spy. Right now it's kind of so. Dow's up 30. And I'm just waiting so I can get a quick pop here. I could take out this area here. I just need this to move that I can come over here. But you see how it's pulled right there? That, and it pulled right there. See, they're identical patterns. But what happens is when you see uh, spy pop to these levels, you get about eight seconds to get in here, and then you get the pop. So, okay, so it's leveling off a little bit. And Netflix is higher today because of that move. Okay, all right, so. I missed that little pop. All right, let's get back into what we were talking about. All right. Um, so this morning, um, the first thing I wanted to do was deliver a really nice, uh, clean. Okay. Again, one of the things that we do really well in here is small cap. Um, we do big cap, large cap, mid cap. I mean, we, we pretty much do it all. But, um, you know, this morning, I always like to find that, that what one little stock that just, you know, puts money in traders' pockets. and you know, and prawn just happened to just, it was just a delight. And the problem with prawn is that the, the news that came out, it was, a lot of it was rehashed. But 
what I read, what you have to do again, what we talked about was you have to read through the news. And I just kind of want you to read through the news on the purchase agreement with Life Bioscience. And what they did was um, they signed an agreement for a $31 million total. Well, on a stock like Prawn, if they do $20 million in a day at $2, million, at $2 a share, that's $40 million. And so to me, um, all this is is just a way to get money into a company that doesn't get any volume or anything going on it. And it's just, it's just it, it, I mean, look, they're going to make a $7.5 million initial investment. All right. First of all, they don't tell you when the money's coming in. All right. Then they're going to additionally raise another $2 million. Again, no dates on this. Totally $9.5 million. Great. That's awesome. And then later, we'll invest another $21 million. Okay. You see all what this is? This is all just, oh, my gosh, they're going to put $30 million in the stock. And everyone's supposed to go crazy and excited. But in reality, all it is is for Prawn to, make a, to get volume in their stock. All right, get the market makers to just flop, flip the bid and ask all day long. And then also, guess what? Probably a day, two days, the offer and offering, do half the amount of the shares they did today, maybe five million, eight million at what? A buck fifty, a buck thirty. And guess what? They made their own ten million dollars. <laughs> you see what they did? I mean, it is just pure crap, but for us, how do you trade it? Well, you simply come in and you say to yourself, well, it's a short. So any pop at the open, um, if it does come, if you can nail it in pre-market, great. A lot of shorts were available in pre-market. If you want to wait for the market to open, let the chasers pop it. And then just short it off to 150. My goal is to take this back to the gap fill, which is 150. And, um, and you can see right here is where I kind of want to go with it. About right there. Right there. 150. And they're just holding it up. That's all they're doing. And then towards the end of the day, you'll start to see it really break down. But a lot of traders were short around the 240. So this paid very, very well. And what I really wanted to emphasize in the chat room was I didn't want anyone to go long the stock. Um, that would have been a mistake. And uh, and that's what I was trying to prevent. So anyway, nice trade there. The second trade I had on our log was a Rare. And I really liked Rare a lot for a lot of traders. At Rare is like uh, my WDC call the other day I made, and uh, Rare had a downgrade today. And um, what I liked on Rare was just simply, I um, it could see that the stock closed roughly around 43, and it was gapping down this morning all the way down to 41. So I told everyone in the chat room, um, look for a gap fill pop at the open. Try to get as close as you can to the 43 level and scale in. I think... I wrote down, I wanted um, on this particular one, uh, Rare, um, if it pulled to 39.40, great, uh, go long, because it usually will fill the gap. But if it popped to 42.50, which is what I was anticipating, I wanted you to go short. So the stock, again, was gapping down um, pretty low in the 41s. So my goal was 42.50, scale in short and take it down. And I want you to see the stock. And so as you look at the charts, and here's the chart. So again, the emphasis was short at 42.50. So ding, 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 ding. Here's where it starts. It zips up. If you notice, the stock hit 42.50. You see where it stock hit right there? 42.50. Draw a line across, scale in short, and take it down. You see this? 500 shares in our room on your first, very first trade. On your very first trade in Awesome Calls Trading, on your very first trade, walking into the room, 500 shares short, 300 shares short, I was going to assure you a one point on the trade. You were going to make one point. Okay? I don't know a lot of chat rooms out there that can guarantee you something. This, I guarantee. All right? And look what happened. $40.70. So if you would have took this trade, you would have almost cleared two points. You would have cleared one in literally about 20 minutes. So um, this one would have made you 300, 500, 800, 700, 600 dollars, and you would have been done for the day. You would have started January 1st, January 2nd, 2019 green. Okay. The next trade that we did was a stock called Tesla. I don't know if you're familiar with Tesla. <laughs> you should be. But Tesla, you know, let me let me kind of explain something on Tesla. 
whenever a headline comes out, all right, other than a uh, a, uh, a tweet from Elon, the stock always overreacts. All right, now the stock was already gapping down because the market was down 400 points, and it was gapping down, uh, I think it was five or six points. But then all of a sudden, he, they put out the numbers, and it was kind of a mixed review response, so to speak, and it was just an overreaction. And so I told everyone in the room, just everyone take a chill pill, buy at 300, and you'll make 10 points at the open. So if the stock hit anywhere, um, actually the first call was <clears throat> to buy the open and take it to 310. Then if the stock did come down to 300 again or under, go long again and take it back to 310. 310 was my number on this stock, and I'll show you. It's right here, uh, Tesla. Anything under 300 is a buy. I don't care what it's going to do. The stock will push to 310 to 312 regardless. 310 to 312. Um, if you bought in the morning, which I told them um, in the room, was the stock will only go to 310, maybe 312, and that's it. Then it will sell off and probably go to back to 300 and under, and then you could buy it again and take it back to 310. At the end, by the end of the day, once it starts to settle, the stock will run to 316 to 318. And that's what I'm looking for. So we have traders in the room that just said, okay, fine, then I'll buy 315 uh, calls. That's what they were doing. So I want you to see how Tesla traded. Again, you, you have to understand what I'm thinking. I've been trading for 15 years. This is not something I pull out of a hat. So when you see how this really works and you see how I identify where the stock's going to go, this was written down an hour before the market even opened. You know, 30 minutes before the bell. So imagine me seeing the vision of what the stock's going to do before it even happens. Because the news didn't come out until like almost 6 o'clock uh, Pacific time. And I was writing this down pretty much five minutes after that news came out, after I watched it trade out. I said, okay, this is what's going to happen at the open. Okay, so I want you to see the trade. You ready? Ding, 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 ding. Okay. You bought here first long pre-market, right? Because I said the stock would go to 310, all right? So there's the 310. Boom, you're done for the day. So if you took 50 shares or 100, you just made $600. Now you're done. You can go back to bed. Now, for those that want to trade for the day, and that took about a minute and 20 seconds. The next thing I wanted you to do was, okay, now that it hits it, where are we going to go now? Well, we got to go to 300 and under. As soon as 300 hits and under, you go long. Now what am I saying? The stock will go back to 310. There's the 310. Now, let's just say you had to go to work, right? And you couldn't watch the stock all day. So you're asking me as a trader, where's the stock going to go for the day? Okay, and that's where I come in and say, well, and if you look at my notes, what did I say? I said, if you bought the stock at the 300 range and you had to walk away, the stock was should close out around 316, maybe 318 by the end of the day. You see it, sir? The stock should run to 316, 318. All right, so let's take a look now. And boom, 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 boom. And the stock has hit so far $315. So even if you had just bought the 300, you still, and I do believe it'll still close. We still have an hour to go. You see how close we're coming to our numbers? So if you bought 30 shares, 40 shares, 50 shares at 300, and you waited, you made $750 on this trade with 50 shares, 15,000 buying power. Why? Because you're in a professional day trading room. That's why. You're not in some, you know, hey, we do AMD. Oh, MU, a AMD, uh, SPY, AMD, MU, SPY, AMD, MU, SPY. I mean, Amazon, 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 Amazon. I mean, life, life is a little bit more than Amazon, all right? But if that's all you want to trade, then, hey, great, all power to you. But I like to trade stocks with a lot of range, volatility, and reasons behind the move. Okay, let's move on to another one. Uh, let's take a look at, well, we have two of them, Square and Roku. Now, once the market turned green, these stocks were all going to make their moves. And, every, you know, it's pretty common. They, you know, you got to follow SPY. If the Dow's down 400, then the Dow's down 200, then the Dow's down 100. These stocks are moving. They're volatile stocks. If the market sells off, you want to buy the bottoms. And so on Roku and Square, 
I think we put bottoms in at, um, uh, let's take a look. Roku, I wanted, um, okay, square, I wanted, um, I like to see a small pop at the open. I did figure everything would squeeze right at the open, okay? So I wanted everyone to buy the opening. And if it's sold out, buy it, uh, look for the 5152 area for it to come, okay? And you could be buying 55 calls on it today because I felt strongly the stock would hit 55 or more, all right? So that was already given on Square. And then on Roku, I wanted, um, obviously, anything at 28 and even preferably 29 is a buying opportunity and the stock should go to 30. Watch the 32 today on it. The stock should run to about 32, all right, plus. So if it popped at the open, then you could sell right into it, which is what I wanted to. But if it's slow grinded, look for the 32 as long as the market held up. If the market pulled it, 28, 29 would be your starters and entries. Because the news this morning was so positive that the stock should be sitting at 35. I told everyone in the morning, if, the nor if we had normal markets and the Dow was just down 100, the stock would be over 35 today. So this was a really, really good one. All right, so let's take a look how they worked out. Again, Square, uh, there's Roku. It pulled at the open. I wanted a little bit more. Look for 28, 29 area. Once it broke through the flag, um, there's the $32 right there. Here's 31. There's 32. 31 and 32. And then square, I said buy the 55 calls. So if you even bought higher, because SPY kept pushing, and square likes to trade alongside SPY, and you bought a little long. I wanted the short squeeze right at the open, which is right here. And I said you could probably buy the squeeze at the open to 55 calls. And 55 came in a rush. You can see it took about uh, five minutes. And both of them paid off very well. And because uh, SPY held up, the uh, they actually just continued to move higher. So really impressive. I really, really like that one. Uh, the next one was, um, there's a stock called Netgear this morning. <clears throat> Neck here, now they sold a 65 million uh, shares of their, they're all out of a stock called, um, they own a part investment in um, a company called, uh, know, let me show you. Um, what is it, Arlo? So they had 62 million shares of Arlo that they were holding. So they spun it off and they basically are all out of it now. Netgear no longer owns any uh, shares of Arlo common stock. Okay, so they're out of it. So what that did is it created a stock to gap down considerably because this was also, if you noticed, when you look at your scans, Arlo actually joined the S&P uh, 600, and this uh, was this was done on the 20th, but it, the deal wouldn't close until the 30th, until the 31st. So if you had really read this news. You could have went short uh, 30 calls, uh, 30 puts. The stock was trading at 52. You could have made enough money to never trade for the rest of the year if you had done that, if you had bought in puts. If you had bought in 30 puts, you would have woke up this morning and you wouldn't have had to trade for the rest of the year. You would have been done. You would have just loaded up. This stock came down this morning because of the closure of that $52. It's now trading at 31. So this morning, I felt strongly that the stock would rebound to around $34, $35 a share. All right. So we started taking long in pre-market, uh, $32 and under, and just been holding it and being patient. And the stock has already gone through $34, uh, 20 And I do think the stock will move higher over a period of time. So um, I do like it. And one thing you have to notice about Netgear, there has been no downgrades on the stock. And that's a good thing for all of you as a trader. As long as a, an analyst hasn't come in and, and there's, no down, there's no downgrade on the stock whatsoever. So chances are the stock will over the next week or so, if the market holds up, it should actually get back to its uh, 36, 30, maybe a 40 level. So, But for today, as a trade, for a day trade, uh, it was on our books to go long. And I'll show you what I wrote. Uh, right here, and this was Netgear was our number third pick. Long, start long, and uh, 
and you pull the 30 add to it and the stock should recover uh, at least five I, I was looking for five to seven points to the upside and because it's down 19. I want this take some starter pulls at the open add to it have a nice average and take it so the stock ended up hitting 3450. so not in a bad trade at all not a bad trade at all okay uh the next trade that i liked um was the well there was two more there were shop and um I like shop. I'll show you what I did on shop. I think you'll be really happy with shop. We also traded Netflix as well, but shop I kind of like because shop gives us a lot of range, and everyone knows that Netflix will follow spy. So we, we you know, we know what we're doing on that. But I like shop because anything at 130, 131 on this broken down stock, I told everyone this should pop at the open and short cover to 136 to 137. And that's really what I was looking for. So if you just went long the open, and if it pulled, don't get worried. Give it room to 130. So you're not getting scared. Because even if it pulled it, don't worry about it. It will pop back. And I always want traders to be weary of that. So if it yanks, they're not worried. And they can learn to scale in so they don't take a big size. They just take like a couple hundred shares. Because five points on 200 shares is $1,000. And all I want traders to do is make 500 to 1,000 in the room. And I trade shop almost every day when the market's volatile. It's a stock I enjoy. Tomorrow, if the market pulls it, if the market gaps up, it'll pop up four points, and then it'll pull down on a gap down. If the market's selling off 500 points, the stock will come down to 130, 131 levels, and I can buy it again. So today, with shop was no different. I wanted you to go long, short cover squeeze at the open, 136, 137. And if it pulled, don't worry about it. Stock will go to 136, 137. So if you look how the stock worked out on shop today, First of all, here's the gap down. See the gap down? So if you went long here at the 133 level, pre-market, you know, right around here, and I told you don't get shaken out if it goes to 131 or 130 because the stock will rebound and the stock will hit 137. Okay, so, and here it is. You see how quickly you can make the money in the morning? Look. Let's just say you, you were pessimistic and you said, okay, then I'll just wait for the pull. I'm not going to buy it here, even though you tell me to and I have an average. I'm not going to buy it. So I'm going to wait for the pull. And you Let's say you do a market order and you get 132. I still am, am very adamant the stock will hit 137. So regardless, you're still going to make five points on 200 shares. So 200 times five is $1,000. How quickly can I make it for you? Well, so here we go. So let's say ding, 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 boom, it pulls. Great. AJ said it would go down there. Scaling along, take 200 shares, 100 shares. All of a sudden, bomb it pops. Boom. Market's starting to recover. One, two, three, four, five. Stock hit 137. That's it. 50 shares, 250 bucks. 100 shares, 500. 250 shares, 1250. 200 shares, $1,000. 200 shares is 26,000 buying power. Okay. So what I try to do when, when the market is gapping down, my whole, my whole thing to what I do every day is I'm always looking for range. All right. And I, I don't want traders loading up huge size. That's one of the other things too, because we have to let the market breathe a little bit, um, especially when the market is gapping up or gapping down. We've got to give it room to add into our positions. And this year I'm teaching the room more and more. It's all about adding. Don't size in. Because if you size in too much, and let's say shop was going to be your trade, okay? I really want you to be real with me now. Let's say shop was your trade, but you went in there with 500 shares, which obviously you'd love to do because you'd make 2,500, right? But if you went in there too fast, too much, and 500 is your absolute size, you're not going to be able to handle looking at your screen being down $1,200. You're going to get shaken out, all right? And that's shaken out is because of that fear that you're losing all of your money, okay? And you can't do that in a room like this. This is a professional day trading room. This is not some little pump and dump room. This is not we isolate one or two trades and it's all small cap. This is not uh, AMD, MU, Amazon. All we're doing is buying calls and puts all day. No, this is a professional 
day trading room. We trade everything. It doesn't matter what it is. This is just my ideas. When I walk in, Janny Moore, Dark Side, B Trades, Raphael, Fire, they, these, these gentlemen all have their ideas. They all have their own plays. And each of their ideas work. But for me to start the